Hey everybody, welcome back to Train Enable, where we help you become fit, happy, and confident through custom tailored workouts. It's Friday, so we're gonna watch a little bit of training footage as I read an older blog post titled, They Won't Understand. We've covered this topic in the past, so we're gonna keep it short and sweet today. When it comes to our journey, it is ultimately ours, and ours alone, to enjoy, endure, and accomplish. Along the way, we're gonna encounter folks who don't understand our conviction. They'll say things like, why are you always doing that? Don't you ever do anything else? You're so obsessed. Maybe they're right. Maybe we are obsessed. Here's why it's okay for others not to understand our end game, and even better, how to find people who are on board. I wanna be a professional unicorn writer. Sounds ridiculous, right? If someone came up to us and said that, we'd be baffled. Maybe someone we know has confided in us and explained their dream, seeming so absurd we can't imagine why anyone in the world would want that for themselves. Hopefully it's not as crazy as wanting to ride a mythical creature, but at one point in time, we've all judged what someone else wants out of their lives. Ultimately, it's their life to live and not ours. If they want to be a rodeo clown because it brings them joy, we have no right to ridicule them. But we do have the right to make the following decision. Do we beat down on their dreams or assist in the attainment of it? We've shared this quote before. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And it couldn't be more applicable to this topic. When we share our hopes and dreams with others, we're going to need some help along the way. And sure as shit is useful if those we need help from are on board with our journey. Now there are three levels of help we're going to encounter from others. The first would be best case scenario. We unveil our grand scheme and explain why it's important to us. On the receiving end, our counterpart can see the purpose it gives and in turn they want to assist. They're empathetic and understanding the vision. This is rare and the second level we'll more often encounter. Upon spilling our guts to someone and our grandiose pipe dreams, they fail to understand what it has to do with anything, but out of the sheer love they have for us, they decide to stick with it, offering occasional help here and there when needed. Sadly, the third level of help we're going to encounter most frequent. Those who don't care about us or our dreams. They don't get it. They don't want to help, and that's okay. These are the folks who are in our way, however. They bog us down. They distract us. They're the ones calling us obsessed rather than dedicated. The folks who get, who get it and those who might not fully understand but love us too much to sit idle, these are the ones who are on the journey with us. So how do we know who is who? There's a lot of vulnerability in sharing our innermost desire for our lives. It takes guts to share that with the world. But maybe we shouldn't share it with the world. When we're at the lowest of lows, those who consistently check in on us to make sure we're all right, those are the ones we're more likely going to keep us on track and stay working towards our goals. They care enough about us not to want anything because we might not have anything to give at that time. They understand, they're here to help. Those who only see us when we're at our greatest, those are the ones who want something. Those are the ones who are gonna be in our way. They're gonna be roadblocks, distractions. They want a piece of the pie, but they don't wanna help bake. We should share our dreams with those closest to us and those who are trustworthy, not all willy-nilly. When we get drained by people, people can drain us further and that's not conducive to making it. When we're on our way, not at the lowest of lows, this is when we can start to branch out and share our goals more and more. Once we've solidified our path a little or we've enlisted trustworthy help, our support system has been established. So there's no summary to cap off this video today only two questions. Who is your support system? And second, are you sure? If you don't have a support system and you want to get on board with some customized fitness coaching, you can find our website in the description below as well as the link to this blog post. If you found value in this video, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, share it with someone else who you think might need to hear this, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.